Hello and welcome to an epic video of amazingness. So first off, if you notice, we're like, whoa, slalom, what the heck is this? Why are we doing it hard or what? We already beat it. Apocalypse? So a lot of people don't even know that this mode exists. Like deflation is one of those weird ones, but Apocalypse is even weirder. Like, what the heck? Why do we even use Apocalypse? Well, the thing about Apocalypse mode is that nobody knows it exists, because you don't really get anything for beating it. And by beating it... I'll tell you about it in a, in a few seconds, what beating it, quote-unquote, actually means. Uh, so, first of all, let's start off our game, and then we'll start talking about what Apopolis mode is, and, you know, how to beat it, and, you know, a couple little tricks and everything. So, the first thing you want to notice is there's two towers that are freaking amazing. Three towers, kind of, that are, like, freaking amazing in Apopolis mode. The Sniper, the Glue Gunner, and the Spike Factory. All three of those guys are absolutely epic. All right, which by the way, I was kind of I thought I was like on easy or something because the glue gunner is only worth two hundred seventy dollars. Then I realized they they buffed him a little bit. So anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a sniper and we're gonna get a dart monkey to help clean up the rest of these guys. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get a, a full metal jacket sniper and two dart monkeys, and that should clean everything up for a little while while we can save up for our glue gunner. Because realistically, what you need to do is you need to get two two one glue gunners, and once that happens, then you need to start farming heavily and just get your defense all set up for these late games. So, I was talking about beating Apocalypse earlier. What does that actually encompass? What does that mean, Chris? Well, it's kind of weird, because Apocalypse mode never ends. Uh, you notice I haven't had to press the round button. I cannot pause it. I can only slow it down. So we're going to leave it on fast speed the entire time. But uh, the rounds are changing. But look at the money. Like, we already went through five rounds, and we only have $226? What's the deal with that? Why is this happening? Is... Are we, do we suck that bad? No, uh, this is the problem with Apocalypse. It's very, very difficult in the early game. The early game is very, very difficult because uh, you don't get a lot of money, you don't get a lot of round money, and uh, you're, uh, the main point of Apocalypse mode is to get as much money as possible so you can afford things by the time you get to round 40, which is a very, very difficult round. So not only are we trying to get a bunch of defense up here in the early game when we don't have much stuff in the first place. Then, on top of that, we're trying to buy, buy farms as well, which are obviously kind of hard to get. So, we're trying to do too many things all at once. Oh my goodness, let's look at this sniper. Oh, man. Get these strong guys. We finally got this guy up. It's getting kind of ridiculous in here. A little bit more ridiculous than I thought it would be. But now what we're going to do is hopefully get our Dart Monkey up and finally got the Sniper upgraded. And uh, another thing about Apocalypse Mode is it's randomized. So you could have an easier time playing it than me just based on luck. I could have a really, really hard set of balloons coming out, and you could have a really easy set of balloons coming out. Uh, but, like I said, it's just kind of randomized. And, like, uh, each round could be more difficult than the other one. You could have a really easy round 10, 11, 12, and a really hard round 14, and it could just make you lose more lives and everything. So it's just... It's kind of weird. Pops mode overall is just a weird uh, game type. Uh, so let's get another dart monkey in here. I'll get one more right here. I'll leave them all on first. So at this point in the game, you have a pretty reasonable defense. You could try and go for a farm. Uh, and honestly, in all reality, if you don't care about your lives, which in all reality, you shouldn't care about your lives. You can start farming. But because I'm a noob, and I'm weird, and I like to have 150 lives, we're going to try and get no lives lost. And that means that we can't do the farming strategy quite as well. We can't do it quite as early as other people can. So what we have to do is start getting our uh, glue gunners flowing. And once we get the glue gunners flowing, you're going to realize how easy it is to farm. So you can notice, I'm actually going to have to use some road spikes in here. It's kind of sad, I know. But you'll never have the perfect perfect defense. You're always going to have to use road spikes or something along the way to make sure it, work, it works out for you. Uh, so, a lot of noob capes on Apopolis mode will end up using too many ninjas, or cannons, or boomerangs, or tack shooters, or dart monkeys, and they won't realize that the entire point is to use really, really strong towers for lots and lots of balloons. Because the thing about Apopolis mode is you never have big groups of balloons coming in. It's just consistent, constant flow of lower-level balloons. Which is kind of weird, right? You don't really see that too often. So we finally got our 2-0 glue gunner. We're going to save up this 3... Uh, or no, excuse me. We got a 1-0 glue gunner. We're going to save up this 2-0 glue gunner very quickly. And then once that happens, we're going to start switching on over to mostly full glue gunners. And, like, after that, it's just... Oh, it just gets easy. 
So you're noticing I'm already around 20, and I don't even have any farms. That's really, really sad. So here we go. We got the glue gunner. And then what I need to do is this guy's worth $559. So we need to get our second glue gunner over here, but I want to only build him uh, right when I can get him up to a 2-0. It's kind of the plan here, guys. So $559 cost about $800 or so, so we need about $200. Okay, we need about $219, and then we'll be set. Perfect, I think, I think, unless I mess that up. <laughs> unless I mess that up, which is totally possible, by the way. So let's see if we can do this fast before anything bad happens. Get this guy, put him on last, go boom, boom. And we do, we get the 2-0 glue gutter, but will it be fast enough? Will it be enough? And it looks like, yep, so we did it, guys, but not quite yet, because we still need to get the uh, the stickier glue. Otherwise, the, the balloons are just going to walk right through in the end here. Our dart monkeys are not going to be enough. And we do, we get two of them up to stickier glue, and that's, uh oh, oh my goodness, almost lost those lives there, man. I thought we were going to have to stickier glue earlier. But look at that. See what, see what happens if you don't get the stickier glue? More road spikes required. So now, okay, we're in round 21. What's the plan here? You're noticing the glue is gluing every single balloon. Solid! We need to start getting our farms going. The earlier you get the farms, the better. So, uh, if you could possibly get the farms before the glue gunners, oh man, you're going to be set. Uh, also, one other thing that I want to point out is you notice the rounds are getting fairly difficult fairly quickly. We already got leads coming out in like round 20. 2 and 3 and stuff like that. Like, what is the deal with all this stuff? How does this actually go through and, and work? What kind of... What do the rounds mean? Well, there's, there's like three main things that happen on, on three certain rounds. There's round 30, when like ceramics and like camo start coming out. Right around there. It's not like a definite 30, but round 30 approximately is when all those things start coming out. Uh, which makes it obviously fairly difficult. Round 40 is when Moabs start coming out, and by Moabs, I mean a lot of Moabs, not just like, ooh, one here, one there. It's like a lot of Moabs coming out very, very quickly. And then round uh, 50 is BFBs, and round 60 is Zoma oh Gods. So you got full Zoma oh Gods, lots of Zoma oh Gods coming out already on round 60. So it gets really, really difficult really, really quickly. And it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy, honestly. So as you notice, the money is starting to come in very quickly, but the cool thing is, is our defense is not just set up to beat round 10 or 11. It's set up to beat round 26 and 27 and probably all the way up to 30. Once those ceramics start coming out, you have to be a little bit more careful, but overall, it's really not that bad. So we're able to afford another farm in here. Now you're noticing our dart monkeys are still doing a pretty good job, but they're not going to be doing a good job forever. So I'm still trying to farm as much as possible. As soon as I see round 30 pop out, I'm going to have to ch kind of change up my strategy a little bit. I'll hopefully just get a spike factory. That would be ideal for me. Check this out. We got the perfect amount of road spikes for that one. But, what? Oh, we got to use more. More sets. But I'd much rather use one set of road spikes here and there every once in a while. Uh, and get more farms. You know, look, look at the amount of bananas we're getting out of these things. The rounds go by very quickly, which means the bananas come out very, very quickly. You're not getting that much balloon money, but you're getting a lot of farm money. So there we go. Get another one of these bad boys. We've got three farms already, but round 30's popping out. So let's get that spike factory. Also, you got to be kind of careful, because again, ceramics can start coming out. So be careful. Be very careful of ceramics. What you, the best bet, honestly, is just to chill with, with your current defense and road spike them. Road spike them early, though. As soon as they get glued, road spike it, and the glue will take care of the rest. So we have rainbows coming out now, but check it out. Our glue gunner's still doing a fantastic job against those rainbows. And the spike factory's easily cleaning up any random blues that uh, sneak through now, so I don't have to worry about road spiking everything all the time. Uh, so I will indeed keep on farming just a little bit. Honestly, it would be almost better if I sold this guy and got... Oh, so that one random balloon actually snuck through there, but look at the spike factor is there to clean him up. So rainbows are sneaking through a little bit right now. That's kind of crazy. Might have to get another glue gunner or something. Yeah, more balloons are sneaking through than I thought they would. I think I have a pretty solid glue gunner spot, though. Though, I will admit that this is not, like, the best glue gunner spot ever. So I decided to go for the monkey village. I sold a farm to do it, but I, I feel like it'll save me money in the long run. So hopefully that works out. And, um, what I'm going to do, I'll, just, I'll farm a little bit more, because farming is extremely, extremely important in populist mode. You guys are going to realize it's so important until you get to round 40. Once you get to round 40, you can start changing up your strategy a little bit into uh, less farms and more uh, blue, 
I would say balloon economy because you should get like a third tier monkey village or something because the amount of balloons that you get out of the, the Moabs is a lot and that's a lot of money so make sure you use that quite effectively so still no ceramics or anything we're getting a little bit lucky here still not very much oh there's the first ceramic round 34 so uh, here it is we've tried, got to try and road spike him the sad thing is there's lots of balloons in the way but luckily we glued him at a reasonable time we'll get most of these guys popped before they hit my spike factory uh oh, that wasn't a good one. That was a bad one. It's a bad one indeed. Alright, so let's get these guys up to 1, 2, 3. Put them on strong. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get through the ceramic layer just a little bit better. While still trying to farm. Again, this is like the farming time. There's another set of these guys. Oh my goodness gracious! The blues are getting crazy right now! The most epic part of Quaffle's mood is happening right here, right now! So anyways, we're gonna stop with our farms because- Oh no! Oh no, I wasn't paying attention again! Uh, let's get another one of these bad boys. One, two, three. Put them on strong. Oh, that one's not even glued, man. That one's not even glued. That's not good at all, guys. All right, so we have to start setting up our defense for late game. So I'm gonna get another glue gunner here because there's there's obviously too many uh, random things leaking through here, which is not a good sign. Especially ceramic balloons. The ceramic balloons are surprisingly leaking through somehow. I don't understand it very much. Oh, and it's getting close to round 40, that evil level that we hate so much. So I've got these three glue gunners here. Uh, is it better to go... Oh, there's another... Ca oh, man, a camo lead, too. Poop monkeys to the extreme. So we get all the things that we could possibly need for uh, uh, killing these guys. But it's just going to keep getting more and more intense. So I'll even... Eh, I don't think I'm going to get the lightning, but I'll at least get this guy. I'll put him on strong. Hopefully that will uh, get rid of these ceramic layers and everything. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for a Super Monkey. Because uh, ideally what I'd love to get is a Robo Plasma uh, pretty much quickly. As quickly as possible. So I've got this Monkey Village here. I'll make everything cheaper and a little bit better off for me. Still doing a pretty good job, but there's a few random balloons that are sneaking through that I really, would, I really don't appreciate them sneaking through. But we're finally up to a Super Monkey, and that'll help us out a bunch. So he's really good against the ceramics. He's really good against these glued balloons. He's, he's good against uh, a lot of other things as well, especially the Moabs once we get him up high enough. Uh, starting to get some Camo Balloons coming in here, but luckily we've got the Wizard here, which will help out just a tiny bit. And then, uh, if we, oh man, look at that. we got a full Camo Ceramic right there. Pretty ridiculous. I'll have to road spike him a little bit. Uh, and I'm actually going to go for a Robo Monkey, straight Robo Monkey. I'm just going to get my range up and everything. And we're already in round 40, so round 41 is the first Moab. As soon as round 40 ends, or like that, round 40 at the very end is the first Moab. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get a Robo up for sure by 40. Got to. Even if that means I have to sell all my farms, you just got to do it. So here we go. We're going to have to sell it, sell it. We'll get that Robo Monkey up. I'll get the uh, Monkey Fort up. And uh, now we just have to hope, hope for the best. So I have him on strong at the moment. I'm gonna move him to first. We got some more camo balloons starting to try and sneak on through. There's a camo lead coming out as well. So what should I do about that? I don't know. I'm gonna get these guys up to a range upgrade that'll increase everything just a little bit. And as you can tell, now we're doing a fairly good job. We've got the Robo Monkey. We still actually capped a few farms. Sometimes on these harder ones, you actually have to. Uh, uh, sell all of your farms just to survive on round 40. And that's why it gets very, very difficult, because if you don't farm heavy enough, you just easily die on round 40. There's too many Moabs, you just can't do anything. <coughs> so anyways, we don't have enough defense yet. I got a ro I got the, the laser monkey up, but I still need the, the plasma up. I might even have to sell this farm to get the plasma. Who knows? He's surviving, but just barely. Look at that. The Spike Factory's been doing an amazing job. We get the Roboplasma up. He's going to survive for quite some time now. So now we got the Roboplasma. Now there's, like like I said, 43. you got multiple Moabs coming out just all over the place. We're doing an okay job. Let's get rid of some things, actually. We're going to do this in kind of a weird way. This is the best way to do it, in my opinion. Sell your farms once you get enough money for this bad boy right here. The Monkey Town. So now you're going to notice we're going to get 50% extra money on all of these guys that we're currently getting. Uh, it's a lot of extra money. It's a lot better than going farms at this point in the game. Farms still not a bad way to go, but look at the amount of money we're getting. It's like ridiculous. And with, with any extra money that you don't need, you can start getting a bunch of farms going. So we're going to do it like this. We're going to go farm, 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 farm. And I don't think this is in the range, but I'll get it nonetheless. 
and we'll get them all up to uh, two zero. And we're gonna just kind of run through it right now, guys. We're just gonna run through it. Woo! Look at that money. Oh, it's so amazing. Now, the Robo-Plasma will not last forever. You will eventually start to get overwhelmed, and it'll be kind of sad. So, actually, one of, that's one of the first times that I've seen the Robo-Plasma actually use both different, both the arms in kind of a different way. It's kind of nice. It's kind of fun. I don't know. You just never see that too often. Anymore, at least. Back in the day, back in the beginning of Bloons TD5, it was a little bit different. So we got some camo balloons coming in here. They're actually still kind of difficult. I'll just get the I'll just get the random full level monkey village here. Make him salad, salad as can be. And now we're starting to get the farms going. As you can tell, we're starting to get overwhelmed a little bit. These these moabs get very very difficult very very quickly. So let's get some more stuff up, guys. We're gonna get a couple moab maulers for now. Strong, strong. Strong. And like the balloon popping power, it's alright. I might get an Arctic Wind though. I mean, that's like a defi definitely reasonable to get. We'll get an Arctic Wind really quick. Make sure no balloons want to sneak on through. And we can keep on farming. Yes. So you can tell, once we beat round like 45, everything is just kind of easy. You don't you don't really realize it, but if you can just keep on farming and do an okay job, the game gets really, really easy beyond 45. And that's that's why I don't want to play until around 70 or 80, because honestly, it just gets boring. I'll be straight with you guys. It just, it's just a, a late round video. Any normal late round video, which, in my opinion, it could be sort of fun if you just watch the 10 minute video of somebody playing it for... 40 hours, <laughs> but when you have to play through it for 40 hours, it's not exactly the most exciting thing in the entire world all the time, until you get to around like 500 or something, then it can be a little bit more on the exciting side. So you're noticing the amount of money we're getting, we're actually going to have BFB start popping out right at the end of round 50, so 51, like the end of round 50 will be one BFB, and what that means for us is we need to get another one of these guys, another Robo Plasma! But realistically, our main goal is to get a temple. Uh, once you get a temple, it just it gets easy as cake. So let's see, where can we fit a super monkey? In a reasonable spot anywhere. I didn't have so many freaking banana farms over here. <laughs> Come on, it's like, okay, right there is actually not bad. Alright, right there is actually not that bad of a spot. The only problem is I can't really see what the heck's going on over there. That. I got the, I'll just sell this guy. I'll get an ice tower really quick. I'm just gonna go for a good temple, not a f like a super max temple, because honestly, I don't see much of a difference between the thirty thousand dollars of glue, ice, and wizards. Even though people will always say it's not a max temple, they always complain to me, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's good enough. It's good enough if I'm not going super duper late game. So here we go. Let's get these cannons going. And feel free to farm as much as you want. Like, seriously, farm as much as you freaking want, but the money just flows in so quickly once you get to this point in the game. So we'll get this guy up, we'll get this guy up, and we'll get this guy up. And we'll also get this guy up as well, the Technological Terror. Feel free to throw in a Monkey Village if you want, it'll help out a little bit, but hmm, that's not really that important. So, at this point in the game, round 53, we've got a really solid defense, we've got everything flowing for us. I think we're going to make it to round 60, let's just do it, we're going to get a temple anyways. Uh, it usually doesn't take that long to get to round 60, but... I just want to show you guys that the Zoma Gods, once they start coming out, they, they can be, like, slightly difficult, I guess, if you don't have a ton of money, but if you have a ton of money, like you played like me, uh, you'll be totally fine. So, like, the main thing when you're, when you're going late game in here, the main thing that kills people is they forget to go economy right around 42 to, like, 43 to 46 or so, because that is, like, the main economy point in the game. If you can get this this monkey village right here and get 50% extra cash, it's it's like change it's like a game changer right there because you're not just putting all of your money into uh, towers anymore. You're actually moving it into whatever you want, really. Moving it into a lot of farms and a lot of economy, which is going to help you out for the later game. So we are able to afford this temple here. I think I got everything all set up. Let's do it. There's the temple, and check this deliciousness out. As soon as the balloons come in, they're dead. They're straight up dead. You can just let this run for as long as you want. You'll probably make it to round 75 or 80 with just one temple, to be honest. So don't feel the necessity of 
uh, doing everything all, all right now. Just wait till you have some money. And that's that's the way I would do it. But let's just chillax here for a little while, guys. We'll just kind of see what happens and everything. By the way, uh, if you have not checked out the uh, t-shirts, I will might most likely be doing a giveaway on a shirt or two. Even though not that very, very many people bought the shirts. It's okay. I understand. Not that many people like them. It's cool. I did merchandising things too early. But uh, I will likely do some sort of giveaway with the shirts. So for the people who really, really, really wanted them but couldn't afford them, they'll still have a chance to get them. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I don't know if uh, there's a plan for that. But if you, if you haven't checked them out, at least check them out. And it's okay if you don't want them or like them or can't afford them. All those things are okay. But if you at least look at them, it just makes me feel happy because I put a lot of work into that. And even though it's not exactly the best looking thing in the entire world, like, I take pride in my work. Whether it sucks or if it's good, I take pride in it. And that's probably the best thing about it. So we're already up to like $160,000 again, and again, look at that, I only got five farms. And look at the amount of money we're getting. Also, another thing to do is, uh, if you actually want extra cash, you can go like this. Now you get 50% cash on your temple as well! Whoa! You can actually see the amount of money is going up quite a bit more now. It's kind of nice. Plus, we're almost to round 61, which you'll start seeing the Zomagats coming out. But after round 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, what, is there any like big changes? You get Super Zoma Gods coming out? Well, yeah, obviously, over time, they do increase and get stronger, but it's just full-out Zoma Gods. And that's the weird thing about it, is there's no camos, there's nothing different, it's just Zoma Gods. Zoma Gods, after Zoma Gods, after Zoma Gods, forever. And it's kind of weird, to be honest, but, but, but yeah, what, what are you going to do? So like I said, if you guys really liked this Apocalypse mode, like I will be, I could do more videos on it. Just let me know in the comments if you like this. If you're like, ah, it's kind of kind of something I'm not really interested in. There's, you don't really get anything out of Apocalypse mode. But if you want a challenge, you really want a, a challenge. Play some harder maps on Apocalypse mode. Like I said, I did this one, No Lives Lost. But if you do something like the castle, and you have to beat that, just straight up beat it, get to around 60 something, and have like a reasonable defense. It's really fun to do because it's so hard. Uh, even just mixing up, selling the snipers, mixing in the glue gunners, mixing in some random dart monkeys here and there to make sure you have the exact amount of defense that you need uh, while still farming as much as possible. It's kind of fun. So we're in round 63, and uh, I can show you guys that we're obviously rocking everything very, very easily. As soon as it comes out, we can get as many temples as we want right now. We already got $370,000. Uh, but that's all I'm going to have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, throw a like down there. I do appreciate those, and have a super duper delicious day.